Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, the U.S. is home to more than 3,000 different species of native animals, and sadly, scientists predict that nearly 40% of these species may face extinction by the end of the century if we don't step in and help. And stepping in to help is exactly what our next guest is doing for a native species in her community. Please welcome to Main Street Living, Sally Gale. Sally, thanks so much for making the time for us today. Thank you for having me on your program. So a few years ago, you came up with kind of a sad situation with some of the wildlife in your area. What happened that made you realize that the newts needed your help? Well, my husband and I were on our way back from dinner and it was a rainy night and a warm night. And about two miles from my ranch, um, we came across this section of road, about a mile length of road that was full of debris. There was a hillside on one side and a lake on the other. And a lot of the branches from the hillside had fallen into the road. But we noticed that some of these branches looked just like some of the other branches. They were the same length, they were the same shape and they were moving. So I got out of the car. I told Mike, stop, I'm getting out of the car. And so I got out of the car in my nice clothes in the rain and I walked that mile stretch of road. And as I walked, I ended up picking up 45 dead newts and five live newts. Wow. And by the time I got to the end of that stretch of road, I was determined. I had this emotional thing going on with me. I was determined to do something about all of these poor newts that were dying in the road for no reason at all. So out of that one night, you founded the Chileno Valley Newt Brigade. Did I say that correctly? Yeah, you got it. Oh, very good. That's a first. Uh, who's involved with the Newt Brigade? And what's the process of actually helping these little newts cross the road? Um, well, I, I founded the Newt Brigade with a friend. Her name is Gail Seymour. So I wanted to mention Gail. Um, but what's involved with getting these little newts um, to be in a safer situation on the road is really a lot of people. So at this point in time, we're about four years into our organization. So at this point in time, there are about 70 people who each have a day of the week that they go out on the road and they have a certain area that they're responsible for and what they do is they walk along the side of the road with a flashlight because it's going to be dark, right? And um, they find the notes, they photograph them, they collect various amounts of information on them and store it in iNaturalist, that app, iNaturalist. And then they pick up the newt and get it off the road. So that's kind of our basic procedure on the road. Additionally, we have a group of people that is looking into some kind of alteration of the road that will make crossing the road for the newts a safer proposition and will enable their population to survive. So for people who don't know, can you tell us a little more about the newts, what they're like and what role they play in the ecosystem? Sure, the newts are, many people call them salamanders. There's all kinds of them all over the world. They're, they come in all kinds of colors and designs. Some of them are polka dot newts. Our newts are not polka dot. They are California newts and rough skin newts. And they have orange tummies and darker backs. They're very slow moving. Um, they're very cute. They have big buggy eyes and um, their skin is really soft and their bodies are just tender, you know, so they're easy to pick up. Um, I can't really tell you anything about their role in the ecosystem. I, I just would say that they belong here as much as we do. And it's a shame, you know, that we're killing them off. So why do you feel it's important that we protect these creatures? Um, because they deserve to to live just like we do or any other animal. Uh, they're small animals. It doesn't mean that they're less important than other animals. They're just as an important as a mountain lion or a deer or, 
you know, something larger that we're more aware of. Um, but they're just part of the whole web of life uh, that, that we are so fortunate uh, to be a part of. Could you ballpark how many newts do you think you've been able to save so far? Yeah, this year um, we've been able to save about 8,000 live newts. Wow. We also document the dead newts. So there are about 2,000 oh. dead newts. So our percentage is pretty good. The first year that we started out, we we were about 50-50, and now we're about 80% saves and 20% um, failure, failure rate. But well, those... Those dead newts are useful to us because we're collecting them, freezing them, and then making them available for research. We understand that this is now going to be the subject of a short film being produced about the newt brigade. We've been able to see some of the footage here. What's it been like, and when is the film going to be out? Uh, well, the film is by Laurie Eanes, and um, she just, you know, showed up like, everything else that happens to us, it just sort of happens. We don't try to make it happen. It just, you know, newspapers call and filmmakers call and we welcome them. But um, she's hoping to finish this film by the end of the summer. And she's hoping to show it at the local um, film festival. I think it's called the Green Film Festival. And it's it's been fun working with her, you know, and it's very exciting to have um, our efforts put on film. So. Uh, we're just very pleased that she's out there in the rain with us. So Sally, why would you encourage other people to protect their environments and get involved in causes near them that they care about? Um, well, I guess the big picture and, and your uh, host alluded to this in the beginning is that, you know, we've, you know, we're basically overpopulated. Nobody wants to say that word. It's sort of a no, no, but, um, you know, humans have had a great impact on the earth. And there have been many, 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 many books written about the loss of species worldwide. So, I mean, that's an intellectual reason to get involved. But I think an, another reason to get involved is that there are things that any of us can do if we just pay attention to the natural world around us. Um, that that will improve and protect habitats. Just um, like you did. Just like you did on that one rainy night. How can viewers find more about the Newt Brigade if they want to get involved and be well, part of the, the solution? Yeah, we have we have a website, Chilena Valley Newt Brigade.org. They can they can go there and from that website they can contact me directly and I'm happy to talk to anybody. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. Thank you for our viewers. And also a thank you from the newts. I'm sure they're quite mm -hmm. happy that there, that one night happened, uh, that one rainy night. Thank you so much, Sally. You're welcome. Thank Up you. Up next, ways to keep your mouth healthy right here on Main Street Living. Mm -hmm.